Hey everybody, good to see you back once again. Yeah, we got Big Red in the shop. So for the time being, we're pushing the nice Caterpillar stuff off to the side. Just got back from the parts store, had to get a few things. We've got, I need some low temp grease for the snowmobile. And I was also running a little bit low on diesel fuel conditioner. We got that handled, so. We got an ignition coil and we've got 10 spark plugs for Big Red. It's been pretty cold as of late and I've noticed that if I'll start this like off a cold start and then just run it for a little bit and things don't get fully up to temp, I'll shut it off and then the next time I go back to it and start it, it's got just a little bit of a miss, kind of a, a hesitation. And these V10s aren't as easy to feel a misfire on as a V8 because you've got more cylinders in the firing order just contributing overall more to the power balance. So. I can tell that something is just slightly amiss, and it just kind of has a boop, 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 just slight. It's not a full-blown misfire, but uh, until it warms up, it's there, and I don't really like that. So, yeah, we could have um, a coil boot that is uh, not sealing well, and there's some condensation that gets down in there and never quite uh, evaporates out, like on a short run, or sometimes this could be a symptom of a spark plug just starting to get a little bit loose. These do kind of have a... Uh, reputation for uh, spitting spark plugs out from time to time and I don't want to be mean at all to Big Red because it's been pushing this yellow plow quite a bit lately we got over a foot of snow in the last week it's been pushing up all these piles around here everything down to the road and everything even way out to that field out there and old Big Red has been doing good enough work I don't want to mistreat it at all so I haven't bought my own scan tool yet so I can't just plug in a monitor power balance to know exactly which cylinders down so what I'm going to do right now is it, it might as well get all new spark plugs anyhow and the coils are all original with the years and the mileage they're getting ready to all be replaced too so what I'm going to do is uh, put all the spark plugs in and if I see one coil that looks funny or if I can see like some carbon tracking down the side of some porcelain or something you know or like a boot that hasn't been sealing we're going to pop the coil into that hole assuming I only find one of them that looks a little iffy and then we're going to just uh, try it from there. Oh, I can't believe we're working on almost three months that I've had the red box here already. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna need this. We'll need this and this. We'll need the seven millimeter swivel off of that. We'll need this, we'll need this and that. Plug gapper, gonna need that. We'll start on the passenger side first since that's the most difficult and I'm still in a relatively good mood. These V10s aren't super horrible to have to work on. The back couple of coils and plugs on this side are about the worst, so. Coil bolt. Ignition coil. All right, I'm bringing you back about 10 minutes later. I decided to go ahead and pull all five coils off of this engine bank and I've got them arranged. This was, we go one, two, three, four, five cylinders on this side and then six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 down the driver's side. So this was number one, coil looked pretty good. And number two, again, the boot and everything looks good but we get to three and four here are three and four right here and you see all of the like the soot staining on the end and kind of that brown dust up the boots that usually indicates there's been some leakage coming past some spark plugs I've been down this path enough times to know well I'm gonna need one more coil for sure because when they uh, they've been on top of even mildly loose plugs I like to replace them so started pulling plugs there was one there was two and they were both tight. I got the three. I didn't even need the wrench and it turned out you can see all the black sooting and everything around there That was it was not backing out, but it was not yet or it was not tight We're on number four and again, I didn't even need the wrench. We're just loose like that. That's how I found it Let's do an experiment. Let's see how far out that was. I'm threading it in right now That's one turn Okay, we're just a little bit more than one turn loose already on that spark plug. So that's why as soon as this started 
just gently missing like it has been doing I decided it's time to take a look at things and not push it any further because I don't like the thought of having to put some threaded inserts in these heads if it actually spits a plug out so get that pulled out of there all right just have a look at it yep sure enough we've got a lot of carbon staining on that too there's been a lot of compression leaking past that threads still look pretty good though so if you catch them before they blow out and then tighten it new ones in you know to spec you're usually pretty good so we'll get that back one out that should look good compared to what the coil looked like and then we'll uh, hop over to the other side and see what that's all about okay transitioned over to the driver's side like i said there's not much that fights you over here i got the the air intake pipe off and then you can just you can just see all the coils so let's see if we've got any burned boots over here that one looks good number 10 check nine. Oh, nine's looking dirty. I don't like that. Number eight. <laughs> Number eight's looking dirty. We might have some more loose ones over here. Seven. Looking good. And finally six. Six looking good. All right. So what was that? Nine and eight. Yeah. Boom, boom. That's about the same region that we found the two loose ones over on the passenger side. So yeah, it'll be interesting to put a wrench on these and see what we got. Tell you what, let's just go by hand, see if any are loose. That one's not. That one's not. Yep, that one is. We're turning it already. So let's see how far out we were. About a turn. This is the other one that had the burn boot. Yep, we're turning. Okay, we were just, just cracked loose on that one. And yeah, number 10's tight, so nice to know anyway that they weren't like really ready to blow, but the fact that they're loose at all, I don't like. And we've got all the spark plugs out on the driver's side now as well. This is a 2003, so it's still old enough that they have the spark plug gap on the emission sticker, 52, 56 thousandths. That's very convenient because the new ones just say consult the service manual, so I'd have to go look it up. but. So when I gap these, I always start down at the low end. We're at 52 right there. That way they can run for a while before they exceed 56. Those are ready to go in. And here's the breakdown of what we found. Cylinders one, two, three, four, five on the passenger side, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Driver's side, yeah, and oddly enough, three and four were loose with burn coil boots, and eight and nine were loose right across from them with burn coil boots. I don't think that means anything. It's probably just coincidence, but these Tritons do have a tendency to spit spark plugs. They are all Motorcraft plugs, so I'm assuming a Ford dealer did it last time, but sometimes it boils down to how tight did the last person put them in. So I'm going to replace the first burn coil that I found with the one that I purchased today, and then I'm going to throw these other three kind of janky ones back in because I need to get back to the parts store tomorrow morning to get three more, and we're still going to be better off than we were because at least all the spark plugs would be tight this time, right? Gosh, plugs are in, and I'm... Um, just throwing the last of the coils on and I gotta remind myself turn the camera on and actually get something recorded here because it's just so it's just in my subconscious you get to work on these things and my hands just move my brain shuts off and I just do it so if I don't remind myself to actually record this nobody gets to see any nobody gets to see any of it
Look at that. We didn't even have it in the shop long enough to melt any of the snow off of it. Bring y'all back tomorrow. to the show everybody just pulling into town right now get back to the parts store we got the first 20 miles of the day behind us already big red's been running good so i'm pretty sure we got all the problems fixed but we're gonna hang those other three coils on it anyway they're ready Okay, it was a pretty simple task to get those remaining three burned coils out, two on the driver's side, one on the passenger side. So we can put these in here with the rest of the old parts. And yeah, we probably only needed to replace one. I'm not sure which one of these four was misfiring, but through the years I've learned that after you've had a coil dancing on top of a loose spark plug and the boot has been burned like that and it's been arcing and shorting and everything else, you're best off just replacing all of the coils you see that are affected like that. Even if you can just replace the boot, which you can, you can pull the boot off the bottom of these. Let's see if I can do it with one hand. There you go. And you can just replace that boot if you want, but I've learned over the years the coil is likely stressed as well, so it got all four. New coils right here. I'll take some electrical grease and just fill the end of that boot. It just kind of helps to seal it against the spark plug down in the bottom of the holes where the spark plugs are in these engines. So we'll get these three pop back on real quick. There. Old Big Red ended up needing a lot more work than I had planned, but I'm glad to have caught those loose spark plugs before they got bad enough to actually blow out because once one of those Triton engines spits a spark plug, you're having to do thread repair in the cylinder head and that's not fun. And it's best to remedy all that before it becomes that big of a problem. And yeah, that's the first Triton engine I've ever owned that's actually had loose spark plugs. Uh, Old Blue, the 5.4 V8, that was an 03 as well, just like Big Red. I never had loose spark plug issues with that, but then again, I know exactly who've been working on Old Blue its whole life. So yeah, the early builds on the 5.4s and the 6.8s had like literally four threads available in each spark plug hole to grab onto the spark plugs and that was not enough and they'd loosen up and spit them quite often. But then by 03, they had corrected that and like more than doubled the available threads in each hole and that pretty much solved the problem. They didn't uh, loosen plugs anymore. So I'm betting the fact that Big Red had loose plugs probably goes back to maybe the last person that replaced them. Maybe did not get them tight enough, I don't know, but let's get back to the good stuff again. So, as always everybody, thanks for watching.